hamstring. Uh, obviously, you have the team doctors are back there looking at it right now. Uh, it's unfortunate. You know, we were here about a week and a half ago. We saw Jamal Murray go down. Uh, we saw Monte Morris go to town, and now Will Barton. So uh, it's unfortunate. Hopefully, Will's okay. He's in all of our thoughts and prayers, obviously. But we have a game to play, and uh, and the guys that are on this bench are ready to go out there and give the effort that they have to in order for us to try and get this win. All right, Coach, thanks so much. Good luck the rest of the way. Thank you. Well, Coach Malone has had to navigate <laughs> quite a few injuries of late. Yes. It is sixth season at the helm now of the Nuggets. Jamal Murray will miss the rest of the season with a torn ACL. He was averaging a career high 21 points. Coming off his outstanding performance in the playoffs a season ago as Looney gets free for the flush. And Coach was so complimentary of, of Looney uh, when we talked to him earlier. Talking about just his defense, his length, really just his basketball IQ. Uh, he couldn't sing his praises enough. And, you know, he's going to be an important part down this stretch, trying to get into that playoff playing game. He's going to have a pretty big role. Yeah, you're right, Richard. Steve Kerr just absolutely raves about Kavon Looney, all the little things he said. Things that stand out most about Looney and his impact are his brain and his length. So he is so smart in so many things he does on the basketball floor. And then he also has a 7-4 wingspan. And for a Warriors team that's, you know, forced to play small with James Wiseman, their seventh quarter out for the rest of the season, you know, Looney allows them to do so. Yeah, no, well, well, look, he's been, he's been there. He understands the system. He knows what's expected of him, plays within himself the entire time. It makes it very, very easy to coach him. And an offensive rebound here for Looney, trying to set up Oubre. Had it knocked away. On the attack, Oubre from behind. Another chance here for Golden State. It's Wiggins off on a three. Looney got his paws on it again. Wiggins gets denied from behind by Millsap, and here comes Denver. Rivers robbing it up, man. Oh, a little bit too much on that one from Rivers. Look, I'm going to give Austin Rivers a pass. The man's been sitting at home for you know a couple, a couple months, and you can work on your jump shot, you can work on your pick and rolls, but you know practicing lobs that that, that you know, takes a little bit of rhythm. Curry. By the way, the word on what was going on with Curry is he was just bothered by the tape job that he had on that foot. As that three won't go for Millsap, trying to sell a foul, didn't get the call. Cool, a tape one is good. And, and we spoke a little bit earlier about the change in the game. I didn't care who you were as a shooter. Steph Curry, obviously different, but now you see more and more players shooting deep threes early in the shot clock. Five, six seconds to go. They, that's normally when you would shoot those type of shots. Guys are shooting them at 17 on the clock now. On the break, cool to the rim. Ruben State has been getting out in transition. 16 fast break points already. They have an 11 point lead. This has been how Golden State has generated its offense thus far. And already with eight off the bench for the Warriors, a 7 0 run.